Hi, this is Dr. Jessica Hoffman. Today, we are gonna talk about teething, how to handle it, and how to best manage it. First, I'll say that teething is normal and healthy. All babies go through it. It usually begins around three to four months of age when you start to notice that babies enjoy chewing on things and it finishes around two and a half with a total of 20 primary teeth. There's a lot of variability about teething, but in general, we can expect that the first two teeth come at the very bottom of the mouth, these two right here. And generally we get two teeth every two months until the entire teething process is finished. The three most common symptoms of teething are gum irritation, crankiness or irritability, and lastly, drooling. Another common question I get from parents is that a child has a fever and they're wondering if it's from the teething. And actually, I think that we overblame a lot of childhood illness on teething. Teething does not cause fevers. It does not cause nasal congestion or diarrhea. While it may cause mild discomfort, it shouldn't cause a lot of pain. In fact, there's probably going to be times when your child gets teeth and you may not even realize it. So if your child's teething, what can we do about it? A few simple things I think go a long way. First, kids really like when things are cold on their gums. So you can try a chilled baby teether, or you can even take a damp washcloth and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes and let your child chew on it. If they're really uncomfortable, you can try things like Tylenol or ibuprofen if they're over six months old. There are some teething options on the market that I would avoid giving your children. The first one being the amber necklace. I worry that a necklace around a child's neck could be a choking hazard. I would also avoid giving your children teething tablets or teething gels because the effects wear off quickly, and what's worse, if they're given too much, it may be harmful. I hope you found some of these tips helpful. If you have any tips to add, please feel free to do so in the comments below. This is Dr. Jessica.